Now we've got an interesting one here from Tris. Tris and his wife have bought this house. They've been in it for about a year and it looks to be a very nice house. Um, this is the exterior, just showing the air bricks and there's a relevance there, which I'll explain to you in a second. You see some even bigger air bricks here. And here's the level threshold, the front door. And here's the front room, onto the road, onto the street very cozy and this is the mid bit going through to what is the new extension lovely new extension there and that leads out into the little back garden there that's got a level threshold as well now because that's got a level threshold that means that you can walk out when those sliding doors are open you can walk out onto the ground without any step down which is fantastic but his problem is there's no ventilation under there so if we go back and we look at this floor here this floor isn't ventilated. It was before the extension was built. There was a through ventilation that had air bricks there. Now what the builders should have done is when they built this extension, they should have carried on with some plastic pipe, some duct under the poured concrete slab there. And that should have come out the back into some air bricks. And if they couldn't have put the air bricks above the ground, they could have done a kind of telescopic arrangement where they go in under the ground and come up and then poke out a few bricks above the damp course. It's done all the time, that kind of thing. But really speaking, what you need to do is you need to match whatever you've got in the front in the way of air bricks with what you've got in the back. So if they've got three air bricks in the front, I would say they need three air bricks going along the back there. Maybe two they would get away with. But what have they got? How many have they got? They've got absolutely none. They didn't bother putting those ducts in there. The building inspector didn't pick it up. Nobody else picked it up. And Tris now has a problem because all this area under here, this is suspended wooden floor, and he's worried about damp getting in there and just, just festering, if you like. You get dry rot and all sorts of things if you don't have that through ventilation. So he's got away with it for a year, but he's concerned about what could be happening under that floor. Now he's got himself a nice under stairs cupboard, and I would suggest that that's the place to take up some floorboards, have a look under that floor and find out what's happening and find out whether it's actually dry or whether it does need more ventilating. I would suspect that it needs more ventilating because it's a terrace house. There's a house that side, there's a house that side. He's got no scope for putting vents out through the side of the house. They've got to go out that way. But of course, he's not going to dig up that floor to do it. So what I'm suggesting is that he gets a duct under that floor and brings it up maybe somewhere around this column here. I'm suspecting that what they've got there is a steel beam that is like a big post and that that is supporting that steel that's going across there. So there's probably room in that box work. I don't know for sure, but hopefully somewhere around that box work, there'd be room to get a duct that will go down there and through that floor so that they can take that duct up through there, through that bit of lean-to roof and create some kind of draft, create some kind of... Obviously, the taller they can make that pipe going up through that roof. In other words, it'd be like a soil and vent pipe. They can take it right up to roof level, just past the gutter. And if they do that, that will create a kind of chimney effect and hopefully the differential in the pressure, maybe a bit of wind blowing at the front of the house and drawing at the back of the house will draw some air through and they will be able to duck that. But I've seen this so many times. This is one of the most common things that you come across with these kind of extensions is that builders don't always put in the continuation of the underfloor venting through the solid floor. So once that's done, once that mistake has been made, short of hacking up these tiles and cutting a vent through, I think that's your only answer. You may be able to get a duct up under that under stairs cupboard, maybe box it in across there somewhere, but I don't know. I think you're going to run into this still. But if uh, all the wisdom of crowds, you know, the builders out there, if you're looking at this, if you've solved this problem some other way, I did suggest maybe that he could... Um, put a duct through there and a fan, an electric fan in there, but it seems such a shame to have an electric fan going to vent your underfloor area when you can get some passive ventilation, let the 
let nature do the work in other words a bit of breeze but anyway Tris I hope that helps you have a look under that floor as I say take up a board under the under this cupboard here see what's going on there quite honestly when I go into some house I can smell it straight away you think well there's a bit of dry rot going on under that floor and uh, really you don't want to look I'm Roger Bisbee come back and see me soon more questions on ask skill builder our help desk is up and running and ready for business